Drake. Great fortune. Yes. Oh, Tabitha. Here I am. If there's any single ladies. Here with the infamous. All right, we're here at the Sheena Metal Experience, and I have the great fortune of talking to Robbie Wrist. Great fortune, please. Yes, it's a great fortune. Okay, I heard an awesome interview that you did earlier. It was very recent, actually, and I was so intrigued about all the stuff you talked about related to Sharknado. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, yeah, going to do songs for three, so... Yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be in three because they're shooting it in Florida, and you know, that they're the asylum has some money, but I don't think they have that much. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of Sharknado, and I was so happy to hear that you'd written songs for it, and just your whole experience with it. I, I mean, to me, yeah. it was great. Well, I've known the director Anthony C. Ferrante. I've I'd, yes. I've known Anthony for like 20 years. I mean, I've I've done music on all of his movies, so this one did something well, you know you, you, yeah you mentioned something about when you saw the first poster and you or the like announcement or something oh, and yeah. like your nine-year-old self came out yeah, well yeah the nine-year-old genre nut just went ah you know and then i and then anthony was hemming and hawing but you know he goes i've been offered this movie and you know i, I don't know should i do it and i'm like yes Yes, you should do it. It's called Sharknado. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So he did it. And that's great. And Not because I told him he was in, but, you know. Well, but I'm sure you had some influence. You were oh, yeah, friends no, for 20 years. Very, very influential guy in his life. He probably he was like, I was probably the one reason why he probably wasn't going to do it. You know, It's like, Rob wants me to do it. And there's a strike against doing it. You know. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I love your work as it relates to voiceovers. And Michelangelo... Oh my gosh, when I found out that you were the voice behind that for, you know, uh, some of the films, I was just like, I love Michelangelo, he's one of my favorite Ninja Turtles. Uh, every, I get a lot of, you know, I mean, I guess probably all the guys who played Michelangelo get people who go, you're my favorite Michelangelo, but I get a lot of you're my favorite Michelangelo. Yeah. I mean, you do have a great voice. I'm Thank not going to lie. I've done radio. Yeah. And, I yeah. mean, you have a great voice from Thank what I heard on the interviews. Great face for radio is what I got. <laughs> no, actually. I would say <laughs> not because I love your style. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, you have great style. Yes. No, you look like a rocker. Oh, yeah. No, no, no not ah, really. I'm 50. Yes. Yeah, don't, but you do music. So talk well. about that. Uh, I've been doing music since I was a kid. So it's just something that I continue doing. I mean, I'm doing... Doc McStuffins on Disney Junior, and I'm doing music. It's the two have always sort of walked hand in hand. Right. So yeah, so I don't even really think about that right. anymore. You know, it's just another thing that I do. You it's know. another way you communicate because you're a true artist. Well, he, actually, I say this with great frequency that um, I, just, <laughs> I just said this to a friend of mine today that uh, if artists were normal people, they'd be talking. <laughs> but as it turns out. There's a sickness in all artists, yes. and they can't use real words, so they have to find other ways in. Ordinarily, if someone has a problem with somebody, they go, hey, I got a problem with you, and this is what it is. Artists, because they can't do that, they go, I have a problem with you, so uh, I've written this opera. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, why don't you just tell me? I don't want to have to listen to this thing for three and a half hours. You know, yeah. It's always about telling the story, right? Yeah, yeah. It's always about telling the story. So you're here supporting Sheena. Yeah, I've known I've known Sheena forever. I mean, Sheena's another one of those people that, uh, uh, gosh, I don't know. I think I was in my late twenties when we met, and uh, I was on her show. I was on her cable access show. We, my band at the time, Wonder Boy. We were their uh, house band. And uh, and then just different things. Every once in a while, Sheena will call me up and she'll be like, "Hey, I'm doing a new radio show. You want to co-host?" And I'm like, uh, "Yeah, sure." Uh, I you know I very rarely you don't say no to Sheena. She won't let you. <laughs> She's like, "Come on, go do the thing." I'm like, I'm, uh, like "Come on." I'm like, "All right, I'll do the thing. Okay, fine." You know. Oh, that's great. So, do you have a message for Sheena tonight? Huh? Congratulations. Uh, you're still in the entertainment business. That's insane. With good company. That's insane. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. It's a really pleasure. Thank it. you. It is great to meet you. A pleasure.
All right. Thank you. You have a good night. Steers a straight. Great fortune. Yes. Oh, Tabitha. Here I am. If there's any single ladies. Here with the infamous 